Hello folks, how are you? So I am on the Sacramento San Joaquin Delta River River's Edge in front of the Ride Hotel. Now I'm gonna back up here further so you can actually see. Right out in front the car is going by. But you can see that River's Edge now this hotel was built right at the peak of prohibition so you can only imagine what this place was like when it was going so that was like 1927 <laughs> it had so many different lives uh it burnt down then the whole town of ride that it sits in burnt down um, the fire started in the kitchen of the hotel and then it spread through the whole entire town. Then it got rebuilt and it had a few owners here and there. Even some. Um, I'll the cars go by. It's so loud. It's even said that there is an underground tunnel that leads from the hotel underneath the road here out to the river because during prohibition if there was ever a raid they had a way to get people out of the hotel so there's at the height there was there's a speakeasy there was a salon there was what was the oh a barber salon and it also served well obviously if there's a speakeasy Rumor was that there was also a brothel. So, years went on, different owners. Even at one point, it was like a swinger's paradise. But what's really, really, really intriguing is who used to own this hotel at one point. Now, if you are a horror lover as myself, this is going to just be like really cool for you. So, the man that played Wolfman and also played son of frankenstein there's so many horror movies there's the 50 plus movies this guy was in larry talbot the man who played wolfman used to own this building with his family it's hard to get me in the shot with this big hotel but can you imagine the wolfman used to reside here on the delta it's pretty cool so now what they do is it's open still to the public for hotel reservations they do weddings here and Sunday brunches which is kind of what I'm looking to do um, and tomorrow is Sunday so anyways that's pretty cool the man that played the wolf man the wolf man yeah once own this place Hollywood movie legend horror legend look them up it's pretty cool oh there it is this place is pretty cool And a movie was filmed here in the speakeasy. The Girl, the Gold Watch, and Dynamite. It's pretty cool. I'm just curious. Well, the tunnel had to have, I mean, obvious, I don't know. That's why I would like to have talked to someone that works here. And it looks like there's a guest house back there. Maybe it's a neighboring property. Maybe. I guess we can... But it was a mov uh, film location for a movie called... Oh yeah, The Girl, The Gold Watch, and Dynamite. Which, it was... Um, not too much of the movie was filmed here. Just a few scenes in the speakeasy that's down below. Which is what I want to see. So, let's take a peek inside. Wow. This place at night so cool. Wow, oh, look at this fountain. Sunday brunch, 
Well, I wonder if, if there's anyone here. We'll see about getting a reservation for Sunday brunch. Not right there. Sunday brunch. Yeah, let's see if anybody's here. We'll just call and see. This is so weird. Hmm. Interesting. Hello? I guess we'll just um, call. The door with the people? What are you talking about? From the story, when I was in the speakeasy. It's the door. The original door with the peephole. Oh, the peephole. Oh, peephole. Oh, I didn't. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. So here's the original door from the speakeasy with the peephole. So they could see out the. Oh, this place is cool. Yeah, we'll just have to call and make a reservation for Sunday brunch. Oh, yeah, maybe. Well, yeah, we'll just give them a call and come back. Oh, yeah, there's someone here cleaning. Well, well yeah, we'll just call. The amount of history that was here and so much. Hmm. Just wondering what those are. This place was a lot of different things. Yeah, they must be cleaning, getting ready for tomorrow. So we're gonna call and make a reservation for a Sunday brunch. And we will be back in some when, you know, we can actually like look around and plus they also have an amazing Sunday brunch from the way it looks. And I think they give you a chance to like snoop around the hotel a little bit, which is really cool because this hotel here has so much history. Just take my mask off. I don't need it no more. I'm around nobody. Great shot with that water tower in the background. This place has had many, many lives. It has burned down, rebuilt, then a new owner had it, rebuilt again to this opulent structure that you see today. Hopefully I can give you a better look tomorrow.
we're back at the Red Hotel. So there was no brunch today, so we're just gonna come back and tour the hotel. I don't know what's in there. It's probably locked up. So we called ahead and they said they would just unlock the door. So they leave the door unlocked? Yeah, say so they leave the door unlocked. I don't know if we should ring the bell. Or no, I guess that, that's what that means. I don't know. Lock until we see someone. This hotel was built in 1927 at the height of Prohibition. That's an awesome photo. So there's been a lot of famous actresses, politicians. Um, Herbert Hoover stayed here. I don't, I've never heard about Marilyn Monroe staying here, but that would be something. What? I don't just keep it up until they see someone here. Well, there's someone here because they got the sink going. Hmm. Our history meets hospitality. Look at both photos. So I wonder if we shouldn't ring a bell get someone's attention just to see where we can I guess we could like where's okay I want to know where the speakeasy is Then we'll guess we'll go. In the wrong direction. Oh, oh I love it. I see what you're saying because she, she was reading about this online and, and we were... I've been doing a lot of like research on this because I'm kind of becoming a little bit of a historian around the area. Mm -hmm. And once I've discovered this place, I'm like, I've got to come in here and check it all out. Oh, for sure. Cool. There's so much history here. Yeah, I've actually, I've been here 15 years and I've been studying the history of the area. I'm the yeah. one that's posting all that stuff. Really? Uh -huh. And what I want to know is like, whatever, is there anything anywhere that, you know, there's supposed to be some old tunnel that went all back? Or there is, back actually. Or? Uh, we found a new entrance to it. It was pointed out to us from a guy who owned the place in 1971. Uh, the FBI, uh, during the raids, uh, sealed the tunnel back in the 1930s, but he knew where they were all sealed. This is the inside piece. Oh. Oh, that's cool. That's super cool. And this is um, where you paid your admission. <laughs> oh, obviously. Right? And this right here is the lower door. Uh, you needed a password to get in here. I was so just going to say, what's the password? That's the original password protection right there. Right. Wow. Somebody themselves. Huh. Oh, yeah. This is incredible. I love that nothing has changed. Wow. Wow. I can see why people want to get married here. No kidding. This is awesome. Um, those are original booths over there, Art Deco booth. 
The uh, bar was considered the longest in Northern California. It's made out of back wrap tables. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, that's cool. <laughs> and uh, behind those mirrors uh, was recently pointed out to us by a former owner that there's a hand-painted uh, Art Deco mural back there. So wow. if you remove the paints... If we remove the paints, uh, we can see what's back there. So that's exciting. That is a trip. Uh, the, one of the entrances to the tunnel is underneath the staircase below the ticket counter. And... Uh, uh... Hi, Nobody kissing me. I can understand that. Listen, I've had a little run in. That's where uh, one of the areas was sealed. <laughs> the second one. How did they seal them? Yeah. If you notice, uh, it's lying in the carpet right behind that last chair. You see that rectangle in the carpet, the indentation? Uh -huh. That is where uh, a lot of the performers that were on stage, the girls, would drop down into the tunnel and then they would go to the building in the back is where they lived back there. Oh, okay. And Clever. there were barn doors that slid back and forth and while the gambling was going on and uh, the bar was set up, uh, they were, the model A's and T's, etc. were pulling literally into this area of, of the speakeasy. Mm. And then behind this oh door, this is the original liquor distribution area for the speakeasy. It's exactly the way it was. We have to get the chairs out of there. Uh, but the cases of liquor were all stored on those green shelves. No kidding. Yeah. Amazing. So, well, this stuff's all getting in to be about 100 years old. And oh, yeah. Yeah. You notice all the bars in that window. I was going to say, I saw that. <laughs> mm hmm. Only oh, barred sorry. window in the entire hotel. Well, just for a reason. Those are the sliding barn doors that with a uh, side door exit. Uh, right now, this right huh. here is, you can put your foot on it and feel yeah. the uh, trap door. I can see that because we saw the clip that you posted or whatever with when we filmed that movie here. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I well, imagine this would have been the stage. And... Mm hmm. Um, the tunnel goes that way beyond the water tower, and there's a sunken area behind the water tower that was uh, uh, another entrance to the tunnel. And uh, then they also had an underground still out in the field. Originally, Ride, the town of Ride, was down our back ramp. Mm -hmm. And then all the buildings were located across the field. The whole town of Ride was uh, to the left of the water tower primarily. Wow. What happened was in uh, 1911, there was a fire, a fire in the original Ride Hotel that burned the entire tower mm -hmm. of Ride to the ground all the way to the docks. Yeah. And uh, it made national news. And so when they built, uh, first the Juicy Brothers, they built the hotel, which was an art, arts and crafts two-story general store below with hotel above and then they got approached uh, for the building of this hotel from an architect out of San Francisco who from the peacock out of Oh my goodness. We have 34 peacocks. Really? Yeah. Oh we love Isn't peacocks. Or, uh... Yeah? Oh yeah. We've been thinking about getting some. <laughs> mm -hmm. When they built this hotel because of the fire they built the water tower behind it, which was the main infrastructure water system for the town of Ride. The Juicy Brothers sold and went to the other side of the river because they didn't like being so isolated on the island. Right. This is Grand Island. Right. So they're where they are now at Juicy's Restaurant. We've always been there. And uh, in the meantime, Lon Chaney's brother George bought this place and he and his wife lived here. Shirley Temple Black had the Grand Island Mansion. 
also between the movie stars, they came here very, very hmm. early. Right. And that's how it started to really build it. a secret hideout. Right. That's cool. And so, how old do you think those boots are? <laughs> Oh, those, those are original 1927. Wow. Ooh. The stage was out a lot farther. This isn't the original dance floor, but the one upstairs is. And uh, then I had five private dining rooms that also included the downstairs area. The private dining room hallways are in the back there, uh, behind Ooh. those walls. And they sure do look like they're old school. <laughs> I mean, just they're short, very upright. <laughs> there ain't no cushion. <laughs> God gave you well, a little bit. Not even even. And then the old support. Wow! Thank you so much for this. Oh, you're welcome. Let's go upstairs. I'll show you the main salon. There's a lot of old pictures. The old concrete. This is our main dining room here. It's in the Art Deco original style. The uh, original menu to the hotel is hanging on the wall over there. What did they eat in the 20s? <laughs> we we're about to see. Oh gosh. You notice on the front of the menu it says protected with automatic sprinkler system. That was to assure everyone that they wouldn't burn alive out here on the island. Right. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that's a yeah. Good thing. It was also kind of huh. nice technology. I was going to say, I don't know about Nothing it. too fancy here. Yeah. Just seems like what we're eating right now. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. At the time, that was a very pricey menu. Well, that. Uh huh. Yeah. What we're looking at. Yeah. Two dollars, two twenty-five. Mm -hmm. Three dollars yeah. for steak. Wow. A whole car cost between seventy-five and. 100. That's where a lot of the uh, private dining went on away from the regular customers. That's our original. Hmm. So I would more and more of the uh, movie stars in this. Yeah, I'm just baffled with these. I'm painting, so uh, I'm sorry about the. Uh, the spackling and oh the no pieces. no no but deliberately exposed so everyone can see it and constantly be reminded that they were safe here mm -hmm. <laughs> let's take it to the back salon uh, watch your step and i'll let you come on in it's a privilege of 1927 kitchen we got some modern conveniences stuck in there. That's the original dumbwaiter system that they used really? uh, to move the liquor in between the walls. And also to transport uh, the food to the private dining rooms below. Huh. We had it closed up so we're running water right now. This is our kitchen area. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Brown paint, the entire thing that looks like a resin paint for waterproof. Right? I don't they know. Had right below. And I have a staff of nine. Uh, I'm spackling. Uh, we, we, we had the earthquake, there was uh, considerable damage from the earthquake. And the lights in this picture are those lights. Really? And uh, the arch doorway is actually, you can still barely see the arch above that doorway. Mm -hmm. Originally that was a yeah, barber shop yeah, and salon. Can. Oh right, cool. I read that. Yeah. Let me see the There's your spittoons. <laughs> you can see I don't even have to look back at the lights because you can see the reflection of the light in the photo. Yeah. Be yeah I've seen all these the, photos in the This is the original Butterclay to the right hotel. If you flip it over, you can see it says 1927 on the back. Here's the original. Oh, you can tell me the difference on the. Uh... If you look on the <laughs> back side cool? of it, it says Ride Hotel 1927. Wow.
It's amazing that it survived all these years. It actually, as uh, people's grandparents die, the kids find the stuff and return it to the Oh, town. that's how they survived. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense because, I mean, who hasn't done that before? Go to a bar and you come you home with a, their glass. And the hotel's still open, so you're on the back. <laughs> That's There's so an cool. original flyer from their one year anniversary on March 3rd, 1928. It, um, music by the Ride Hotel Orchestra. They, they had a full orchestra and played till three. Dinner was two hours uh, a plate. I would love to see that. Yeah. Wow. That's a trip. How does that, who, I wonder who held on to that? I don't know, but here we are. The condition is right. like, man, that is it. Mm hmm. Uh, that's, President Herbert Hoover over here, he was announcing uh, that he wouldn't run for uh, his term of presidency. That's of 1938. Lots of uh, uh -huh. wedding photo and albums, you know, very busy here. And so he was staying here while he was giving his... Yeah. Yeah. Movies. Yeah. So over there, those are the ladies that ran it in the 1930s, uh, late 20s, early 30s. The woman on the left who went to uh, jail for a few days. There was a federal agent, two federal agents that were dining in the dining room that was noticing the drinking. Oh, and that lady. Next, and, uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, she broke the bottle over the federal yeah. agent's head. Yep. Uh, one on the left. <laughs> She's like, no, no, no. You're going to let us drink. Leave us alone. Right, we're grown ups. That's awesome. Yeah, I remember reading about her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right where it's located. Along the way, as a matter of fact. Really? Uh, this picture right here of uh, Clark Gable was taken in the tree. That's the second one uh, out into the wedding garden. <laughs> That's cool. oh, let me move this ladder. David, the, the oh, sorry. guy that you hired in the... Huh. Go ahead and make yourselves at home. Feel free to walk the grounds. Okay, well, thank you so much for the tour. Oh, you're welcome. Have a good day. Wow. That was awesome. He's in, he's out. He's got... So, this is the right hotel, and I, all these... Yeah. All these people have stayed here. This is really nice of them. Go see where the tree's at. I think they're used to people. Hmm. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I suppose, eh? Hey, where's the water tower? Oh, we have a tree. seem like any it's open. Oh. Maybe not today. Wow, it's very nice here. Huh. Oh, I 
There's a big water tower above us. A pool? There's the tower. Look at this old shed back here. Hmm. Cool. Very cool. Well. Which one? This, oh, this one out here. Yeah, he's hungry. I'll just get a sh shot from over here. So who did he say, Clark Gable? Clark Gable. Hmm. That's pretty cool. That is that tree. Hey, pretty birds. It's so cool how close they're getting to you. Yeah, well. They see the blue in your hair and they're like, oh, she's a I'm a peacock too. Mm -hmm. Hey, buddy. Well, I suppose I'll get going. Behind me. Shall we? <laughs> They'll be fine. I wanted to ask him his name too, but he had other duties to get to. We'll hurt him. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that look at the Ride Hotel out here, literally in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> on the Delta in California. This place had so, so much history and lore, and I probably could go on and on about it. The now current manager um, that took us through the tour, he did a really good job of telling us work giving us a walkthrough of the hotel, showing us the speakeasy, everything that was old, new. I'm still gonna try and come back for a brunch because their brunch looks bomb. So I hope I covered all of the history and the lore surrounding this awesome, opulent hotel. Started in 1927, had many, many lives. Um, it, what am I trying to say? Three hotels has been a hotel reincarnated three three times, burnt down, then a new owner bought it, rebuilt it. Now we have what we see here today. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, everybody. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big like. That lets me know that I'm doing good. And also make sure to subscribe. That helps the channel and also keeps you up to date on when I'll be uploading a new video. So, all right folks, Kristen here. Signing off in Ride, California at the Ride Hotel. Again, I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you later. No matter who you are, no matter where you come from, if you like to travel, we have something in common. Uh, the things this building has seen. Okay, folks.